My name is Heidi Silvestre. I come from the east of France, from the French Alps. It's a very nice place. And my job is to be a glaciologist. So I'm kind of an ice doctor. Being a glaciologist to me is becoming a very important job. I feel that climate change has kind of put a spotlight on our passion and our profession. Glaciers today are reacting very quickly to climate change. And my job, my everyday job, is to try and understand how are glaciers moving, how are glaciers behaving, and most importantly, how they're reacting to climate change. Svalbard is a, is a very interesting place and very important place for the scientific community. First of all, this is a very accessible part of the Arctic. And here especially, it is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. So this is why we need scientists here in the field, and especially scientists who study climate change. I'm focusing on the glaciers, of course, and the glaciers of Svalbard are really telling us the story of climate change. And our job is to try to read and try to understand why these glaciers are telling us and try to see how the fact that these glaciers are changing will probably impact us in the future. What's interesting in, in this place in Svalbard is that the environment looks absolutely pristine. We feel really far away from civilization. But actually, the snow, the mountains, the glaciers here are feeling everything we're doing further south. So for example, when we pollute back in Europe, these fine, fine particles that we're emitting can travel over really big distances. They can cover thousands of kilometers really, really quickly. And this pollution, well, it can, it can come here. And every time it rains, every time it snows, like now, this pollution will be forced to come down to the ground. And what is happening is that even though the snow around me looks very white, if you look very, very closely, you might see some of these fine particles. And these particles, they're quite dark, they're quite black, and they will absorb the heat from the sun a lot more than the snow. And this will accelerate the melting of the snow and of the glaciers. So unfortunately, in the summer here, if you were to look at these two glaciers behind me, they will look very dirty. They look very gray, very black. And this is all caused by the pollution coming from much further south. What I really enjoy about being here in Svalbard is that this is truly ground zero for climate change. Things are happening extremely quickly here and we need to have scientists here in the field to study what's happening. What I'm studying especially is understanding how these glaciers are changing their behavior in response to climate change. And there is still a lot of things we do not fully understand. And it's only by being here, by having this incredible access to all these glaciers, that we can refine our predictions of future sea level rise. <laughs>